Scuff Cash Army. Sometimes they just come out and load it for you. You know, I've seen some weird things while traversing these great highways and byways of our United States of America. And I've seen some heartwarming things, too. I've seen a couple squirrels hugging each other. I mean, one was in the front, one was in the back, but they were hugging. I've seen guys like not the guy in front of me, but the guy that's in front of him that was in front of me a minute ago. That then this truck jumped in front of me. But the guy in that van up there, he thought obviously on his way to work, apparently he forgot to do a little dental hygiene. We been brushing his teeth. taking some sort of beverage to do a little spritzing around and then spits it out his window. And it kind of landed on that guy's truck. And I'm gonna tell you, I can't read lips. But that guy wasn't none too happy. They've been trying to stay away from each other, but I just hope the guy remembered to go to the bathroom. Well, hello, Scrap for Cash Army. How the hell are you? What we got going on here? What we have here is a failure to... Okay. Um, so you saw the uh, run. Well, at least I hope you did. I hope you watched the video. You got to stop digging in your butt there, dude. You gotta learn to drive more and stop scratching. You know, if it, the, the interstate would be great if it wasn't for people multitasking, wiping his dash off. What the hell are you doing? What the hell was I even saying? Anyway, welcome. Sorry you have to see me driving with a bunch of Richards, but yeah, what are you gonna do? Now, you got a gap there. You gotta speed up there a little bit, buddy. Um, I probably need to quit fixating on this moron. So, the, uh, if you saw the video with me taking the Ram out, <coughs> which I still haven't come up with a name for that truck yet. Oh, if anybody has any ideas, I'm open to suggestions because I'm drawing a blank here. Um, so you saw me pick some stuff up and I've got some, some stuff loaded in that. So then I took old Red. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a truck together. So I took old Red out late last night and uh, was able to acquire some things uh, hopefully put these two trucks together I'm gonna have a good load you know dude I swear to God man I've got to get over so I can get in front of this guy he's killing me absolutely killing me let me come over let me come over bitch or not or you know just keep going behind me so he can wipe his dash down or play with his hair or whatever he wants to do so anyway um, this evening what I'll do is I'll put both these loads together on old red and that way I should have a load uh, ready for Friday 
because I do have a lot of that stuff. It's called copper. You know what I think of when I hear the word copper? Ask Brian and Cohen, he knows. So yeah, that'll be the, that's the goal. So, and I'll video that, put together, you know, some kind of video so y'all can see what the hell I'm doing. Because, you know, my life revolves around scrap now. Because I'm all about the scrap. So I will, uh, flick you back on when there's, uh, hopefully there'll be some stuff to pick up later on this evening. And then switching everything over at the barn. That'll be exciting. And then, uh, take it all the scrap yard tomorrow, make some money. I mean, it's a wonderful thing, people. It's just a wonderful thing. You pick up stuff that people are just throwing away anyway, and you make money off of it. I don't care who you are. That's America. Scrap for Cash is out for now. Now, this is going to be a joke for my intelligent subscribers. What did the zero say to the eight? What did the zero say to the eight? Give up? It said, nice belt. Comment if you get that. I think somebody cleaned out their extra lawnmowers. You know the thing about this neighborhood even when it because it's not trash day it's absolutely not trash day it's like three days away four days away um i've not i've not done very well here when it is time to put your trash out i've done better when there shouldn't be trash out i i was just running the road in front of these this uh neighborhood and just looked down a road and thought I saw something and the road that I went down was the wrong road I had to turn around at the end of it but I just kept driving down there and then there's two lawnmowers I mean you you never know unless you're just out driving around I guess but I wouldn't think it's prudent to run neighborhoods when it's not trash day that's a good way to use a lot of fuel but since this is on my way to the barn I mean it not really hurting anything I gotta go this way anyway it's just I just find see there's trash out there I mean it, and it's Monday is trash pickup today is Thursday so some people do it early some people maybe they start cleaning out I, I thought for sure I'd I'd find what I what I just found is people are getting rid of old lawnmowers to upgrade get some new ones that actually work so it's that time of the season that time of year I reckon so we'll see if there's anything else and if not then You'll see me back at the barn in the driveway getting this truck ready for the scrapyard to rearrange what load I've got on here now and take the stuff off the ram and put it on here and 
should have a full load for Friday, which is tomorrow, come to think of it. I'll be back. <laughs> Golden. I can't reach it, it's too high.
thing that I can't do is turn. So uh, one day I was working at the uh, ice cream shop. This guy walks in and says, yeah, man, can I get a scoop of vanilla and a scoop of chocolate? I said, well, man, I'm sorry, brother, but we are out of chocolate. I thought about it for a minute and said, okay, I'll tell you what, man, just give me a scoop of strawberry and a scoop of chocolate. So I look at him, I'm going, oh, maybe you didn't hear me the first time. Man, we're out of chocolate. The guy stood there, looked at me, and thought about it for a minute and said, all right, man, just give me a scoop of butter pecan and a scoop of chocolate. Now I realize I'm about to go at this a different way. So I said, I'll tell you what, partner. Spell the van in vanilla. The guy said, that's easy. V-A-N. I said, okay. We're on to something here. Now, spell the straw in strawberry. He said, that's easy. S-T-R-A-W. Straw. What are you getting at? I said, hang with me now. All right. Now, now I want you to spell the fuck in chocolate. The guy thought about it for a minute and said, there ain't no fuck in chocolate. And I said, that's what I've been trying to tell you. Asshole.